What's up guys, Dane here, and today we're going to be talking about the update that Mike brought out. He brought out Max and Completion Escape, and some random, he just, like, I don't know, he randomly popped out uh, that you can now use custom whips in PvP. But uh, he also added, like, an extra sentence to that. He said that, like, if you use a custom whip against someone else with a custom whip, it turns into an Abyssal Whip. So I asked him what he's talking about, you know, give us a little bit more information on that. But he hasn't yet. However, guys, since, you know, I can't really change the video once it's up, I will be commenting in the video, you know, down below. So check the comments. Check the description for, you know, forum threads and expl explanations. <laughs> about the update and you uh you can pretty much figure out what's going on but the max cape and the completionist cape came out today uh i wanted to get the max cape i wanted to be the first to get the max cape but it didn't quite happen i was literally about maybe a second off from getting it just like a lot of people were i think a lot of people we i think we all got the cape at the same time to be honest and good luck on dan a administrator you know Dan just happened to get it uh, probably like a millisecond first so no hard feelings of course it's a cape no big deal but you know that's the person that got the cape first pretty cool but uh, let's take a look at the requirements of the max cape now what I think is really really cool about the max cape is originally it was going to be something different and then I actually suggested something on video and I actually suggested it on the forums as well if you want to go check out that video it'll be unlisted just because you know that's kind of like old news but if you just want an extra video to watch you can uh, click the annotation on the screen right now but he actually listened to me uh, at first he was like no no we're not doing that that's no and then I was like come on man this is good for the community and I'll tell you guys why in a second uh, and he was finally like okay so here it is. You have to have premium status. You have to have level 99 in all skills, 200 mil XP in five skills. You have to complete all the quests, the achievements, get all the prayers, get the curses permanently, and get trading rights. You have to pay 3,000 PK honor points and 2 billion coins. Now you might be wondering, why is that good? Why is this good? Well, the thing is, is except for, and but even this, pretty much all of these benefit you. And once you get all these achievements, you're probably going to have 200 mil and five skills because you're probably going to have 200 mil HP, 200 mil attack, strength, defense. That's four right there. And if you're smart, you'll have 200 mil XP in Herblore because it makes you that bank. Of course, we all know the super prayer potion method. If you don't know that video, go check it out on my channel and you can make that GP pretty easily. And then you also have to pay, uh, I don't know if I said that, but 3,000 PKR points and 2 billion coins. So, you know, really all these things that you have to do they're not really grindy things they're it's really uh, new player friendly it makes the player you know obviously work hard to get these things but all the things that you see here are benefiting them you know premium stats they get all these benefits from premium getting the quest they unlock next they get the karasi the elves you know the achievements they get Dagonoff kings kq all this kind of cool stuff prayers help of pvming curses help of pking the point shot allows them to actually make money off their PK points. This is why I think it's actually a really, really cool thing because it's not all about getting a bunch of XP. It's all not all about grinding. It's about getting those very basic things in PK Honor that are going to help you become a better player, which is something that I really like. So, of course, you know, I got the cape. Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. It gives you some decent stats, actually, uh, which are going to help with PKing and PVMing. I don't know how it works when it's dropped on death. Um, I think that this should be changed. I think that you should... Um, I don't know, like, if you die, if you can go back and get it. I'm not totally sure. Uh, I hope you can, or nobody will PK with it, and it's kind of like, eh, whatever. But uh, I hope you can. Now, the completion escape is a little bit harder. It's actually a lot harder. And I do have one little whining thing. You know, you got, you got to add the little whine into it uh, every once in a while. But, uh, you know, guys, I've been playing since 2010, and I've always mainly been like, well, actually, I've always been kind of like a, a jack of all trades, you know. I do do some uh, skilling, you know, 15.6 XP isn't too much. It's kind of like the middle of the ladder. I'm like number 60 on the f high score is not too good. Um, but, you know, I'm also like a PKR. I PK a lot to make my bank, but I also PVM. 
And since then, since 2010, I know for a fact I've gotten, you know, 20 Wild Worm, 20 Chaos Elemental, 20 KBD, 50 Nex. I know I've gotten these. However, it's taking the data from the bookcase in your house, and the bookcase is actually uh, only, it only goes as far back as like November or like October 30th. And since then, I really haven't been PvP, or I haven't been uh, PVMing too much. I've been PKing, maybe doing some skilling. And really, my activity on PK Hunter hasn't been too much since then. You know, I've only killed like 237 God Wars bosses, you know, 40 Caliphate Queens, and that's pretty much just from doing Slayer. So, uh, I wish maybe, uh, maybe Mike did like a little waiver, like if your account was created before 2011, and, you know, it's pretty obvious that you've probably killed all these guys, then we're gonna remove that requirement for you guys. I don't know. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, but, you know, whatever, it's not that big of a deal because, you know, if I kill 20 Wildy Worms, I'm going to get, you know, I don't know, I'm going to get a lot of PK points and whatnot, that's pretty cool. If I kill 20 Chaos Elementals, I'm probably going to make around, you know, 500 mil, that's pretty good. 20 KBDs, probably make like 10 GP, you know, no big deal. 50 next kills, I could probably get, you know, 10 bill from that. The Corporal Beast, the 100 Corporal Beast, easy, easy mode right here get a couple bill. The 40 endless uh, zombie minigame is like, I don't really know about that, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. The other ones that some people might whine about is the PKing, but this is PK honor. You're going to have to PK if you want to get the completion escape. It's only 500 kills, which isn't even that much. I mean, this is my account, Ain. The only time I actually PK on Ain is if I'm like recording for a video. Most of the other times I'm actually like PKing on other accounts, so that's not even that, that many kills to be honest. Uh, you also have to get 20 skills with 200 mil XP and at least 8 skills with 2 bill XP. I need 3 more skills to be 2 bill. Those are probably going to be HP, uh, maybe strength, defense, um, you know, fletching, you know, pretty easy stuff right there. But yeah, guys, those are pretty much the requirements. One epic thing I have to say is I asked Mike to make it so that if you don't want to get death on your account like if that's something you're kind of against getting you don't actually have to get death and so he said you can either unlock death on the morph ring or you can kill nomad 50 times and have 50,000 slayer points which I think is epic because at first when I looked at this I thought that you had to pay the 50,000 slayer points but you don't you can keep them which is kinda cool like you just have to have 50,000 slayer points which is pretty cool and then for the completion of cape price, you have to get one fire cape, 5,000 PKR points, 10,000 slayer points, 1,000 pest control points, and five bill coins. So I was thinking, guys, that I would actually do a completion of cape kind of a quest to completion of cape episode like every week. Um, and obviously, I keep up better with this than start from scratch just because this is my main account. I kind of go on this a little bit more. But of course, those update videos might just be like, I killed Jad this week, and that's it, you know. I've actually already killed Jad, but it's the same thing with all the other PVMing things. It's kind of a little strange. But, uh, you know, the update videos might be kind of small. They might be, you know, one-minute videos, two-minute videos, but just kind of keeping you up to date with it. Because a lot of times I might be, you know, just PKing, or I might be playing another game. And so I might just hop on and get, like, two bill and a skill or something like that. But that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. And without further ado, peace.